On the 4th of August 1914, Britain declared war on Germany. By the winter of 1915, the trenches had been dug where over 5 million soldiers spent their time waiting in turn to fight on the front line. Horrible, frightening airships, Zeppelins, carried out 52 bombing raids on Britain during the war, killing more than 500. On the 16th of December 1914, 137 people were killed and 592 injured by battlecruisers who launched surprise attacks. That's 592 people in one night alone. These children, trying to live with normality, collecting conkers for the soldiers to use as bombs. The older girls would knit socks and scarves for the troops in the colder months. They'd also write letters and make basic medical equipment for wounded soldiers, their fathers, brothers and uncles. The night before the Battle of the Somme, the frontliners the troops knew it didn't exist. There were soldiers' legs sticking out from the trenches where it had collapsed from being bombed. You could feel the vibrations coming up through the earth, just from the artillery. The 1st of July, 7.30 in the morning, day one of the Somme began. It ended with 58,000 casualties, with a third of them killed. Bullets zipping all over, you just had to move and hope you survived. Your friends, your family, already dead or dying around you. There was no stopping to mourn them. This was it. Troops trying to cross no man's land. Slaughtered. Fire. Support. Reserve. Telephone wires cut by shell fire. 40,300 British casualties. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, World War I officially ended. 18 million people had been killed worldwide. Armistice Day is commemorated each year when people wear paper poppies. The red of the poppy represents the blood of those who gave their lives for their country. The black centre shows the dark mourning for the families back home who lost their loved ones. Finally, the green leaf is believed to demonstrate the hope and peace of a new day after the war, representing grass and crops, for remembrance and hope.